Good morning. It's Monday, November 14th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Hardest Change, and our scripture is Paul's letter to the Ephesian church, chapter 4. Paul writes, So stop telling lies. Let us tell our neighbors the truth, for we are all parts of the same body. And don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you're still angry, for anger gives foothold to the devil. If you're a thief, quit stealing. Instead, use your hands for good hard work, and then give generously to others in need. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. And do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. Remember, He has identified you as His own, guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another just as God through Christ has forgiven you. Imitate God, therefore, in everything you do, because you are His dear children. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. He loved us and offered Himself as a sacrifice for us, a pleasing aroma to God. When you live, as I do, with someone who loves to shake things up a bit, moving the furniture around is as much a part of living as breathing in and out. My father-in-law, Tony, was a mechanic, truck-driving, hard-working family man. His wife, Sophie, was a homemaker superb. She loved to move the furniture and passed along that gene to her daughter. You pray for me here, I'm now on thin ice. At the end of a hard day's work, Tony would come into the house, sit on his favorite chair to take off his socks, because the dirty boots were already off tired feet at the door. One such day, he followed the routine, but he sat down on the floor unexpectedly. He had not noticed Sophie moved the chair. (laughs) From that day on, he was much more alert. As you might imagine, this husband learned Tony's lesson about rechecking the layout of the furniture. For instance, my study desk has been located in virtually every room of our house with the obvious exceptions of kitchen and bathroom. In a way, that's not a bad thing. I get a new outlook when the desk shifts, and it's a good thing to not get too complacent. Fresh starts can be quite invigorating. So, what has all that to do with Paul's admonition to the believers at Ephesus? Well, the word is change. Paul was saying no small thing about changing from foul language, lying, anger, and other forms of abusive living. And if you found yourself convicted in any of these life-defining sins and tried to change, well, you know exactly how hard it is to break the cycle and gain victory. Like Tony, sitting down in the same spot is a demon that will eventually engineer your downfall. Granted, it's not a simple thing to change. Just ask anyone addicted to Reese's peanut butter cups or ice cream. And if you're reading this with a bowl of banana pudding and spoon in hand, I'm praying for you at this very moment. If there's anything a human caught in the trap of addiction needs desperately, it's the kind of encouragement that opens up the possibilities of breaking free. And this is exactly the point of Paul's appeal to change. There is hope. Paul is talking to the church, some or perhaps many who were ensnared in habitual sins that were destroying their witness of the Christ of victorious living let alone their own peace of mind. Just the fact that Paul merely uses simple mandates, stop, don't, quit, along with even simpler encouragements, give, be kind, encourage, and live. All of that indicates God is all about making a pathway for us to change. For you today, 
The hardest change ever isn't voting in a new politician or moving the furniture in the house. It's always been breaking sin's grip on our lives, and there's no easy solution, and it's never been about your resolve or inner strength. The only real solution takes blood, that which stained a cross on a hill. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.